Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and welcome to episode 2 of Linux Literate. Last time we covered the basics of your home directory. Now we'll talk about how drives are added to your computer, which is also known as mounting. When you click on one of these devices over here on the left, it becomes mounted to your computer's file system. One way to think about this is as though you've mounted a .iso file on a virtual drive in Windows, with any number of utilities. Except here, it's a native function of the operating system, and it can be anywhere, rather than as a lettered drive. You can unmount it by hitting this button. When you mount a drive in Ubuntu, it's typically mounted to slash media, as either its UUID or device name. However, you're in control, and you can choose where to mount this device. You can even decide if a device should be auto-mounted at startup. I'll show you how to set up auto-mounting. This guide will be from the perspective of an Ubuntu 17.10 installation, with the process being similar on other desktop environments and distros, though not exactly the same. First, we're going to open up the GNOME Disks utility. Now that we're here, on the left you'll see a list of devices on our system. Now we don't mount the actual drive, we mount any number of partitions on the drive. So select the partition you want to mount. If you're unsure, you can click this button to mount the partition and see what its contents are. Ah, this is my external USB drive. Then we choose the More Actions button and select Edit Mount Options. If this box is ticked, make sure you uncheck it, then pick Mount at Startup. In this field, it's good practice to write the word defaults, though there are any number of special flags you can use. There are links to the documentation in the description if you're interested in reading more. Next is the most crucial field, mount point. You can choose virtually anywhere on your file system to mount to. You can set the identify as to UUID, it might be set that way anyway. And finally, put in a file system type. If you're unsure, you can just type auto. Or you can look at the previous window and it'll tell you what the file system type is. Note that if you want to install and run software from this drive, you're going to run into headaches with FAT or NTFS formatted partitions. It's not impossible, but unless you know what you're doing, I highly recommend ext4. Cool, so just repeat this process for any partitions you want to have auto mount. Keep in mind that if you're going to replace an existing directory, you're going to need to move the files that are currently there to the new location, and the old directory should be completely empty. For example, if you want to mount a partition that doesn't have any files in it to your new home directory, the system will give you grief, and if you insist, it probably won't be able to boot. Oh, and one other thing. If you don't want a drive to auto mount at startup, but you want it to always be in a specific location when it's mounted, just untick the mount at startup box and follow the rest of this guide. Okay, well that covers the basics of mounting file systems. This video turned out to take a bit longer to make than I thought it would, but I was able to get it done thanks to my awesome Patreon contributors. Their financial support enables me to dedicate my time to making these videos for you. If you'd like to help out, head over to patreon.com slash the Linux gamer and make a pledge. Or you can smash that subscribe button. That helps too. <laughs> but what do you think? What should the next episode of Linux Literate be about? Leave me a comment and let me know, or tweet at me at the Linux gamer. You can share this video with your friends, you can hit that like button, and as always, thank you so much for watching.